Hello everyone, it's me Shanti and you're watching Biology Nowadays. In this video, let's learn about photosystems. Here we will discuss about the two types of photosystems and their components. Before we get into the topic, I believe that you already know about the detailed structure of chloroplast. Also, I hope that you know about thylakoids and the difference between granal thylakoids and stromal thylakoids. If not, I strongly suggest you to watch the detailed video on chloroplast structure. It's a five minute video and the link is given in the description box below. Now, consider a single coin like thylakoid. If we cut it into half, we can see the thylakoid lumen enclosed by the thylakoid membrane. If we zoom into a portion of the thylakoid membrane, then we can see that chlorophyll and other pigment molecules are embedded in the thylakoid membranes. These pigments are organized in special units called photosystems. A photosystem is an assembly of 250 to 400 pigment molecules. There are two different types of photosystems. Photosystem 1 or PS1 and photosystem 2 or PS2. PS1 is found in the stromal thylakoid membranes and in the grana margins that are exposed to stroma. On the other hand, PS2 is mainly localized in the closely packed regions of granal thylakoids. Now, let's discuss about the components of photosystems. Each photosystem consists of two closely linked components, the reaction center and the light harvesting complex. First, let's discuss about the reaction center in detail. A reaction center consists of a complex of several proteins, chlorophyll A molecules, a primary electron acceptor, and other cofactors that together execute the primary energy conversion reactions of photosynthesis. Chlorophyll A is known as the core pigment. There are six chlorophyll A molecules in the reaction center and they are called reaction center chlorophylls. Out of this, two of them form the special pair chlorophylls. They are called special pair because only this special pair of chlorophyll A molecule can take part in the primary photochemical reaction in photosynthesis. In PS1, a special pair of chlorophyll A molecule is present and it is called as P700. Here P stands for pigment and 700 means 700 nanometer. This is the wavelength of light that this special pair of chlorophyll A molecule in PS1 absorbs most strongly. Just keep in mind that 700 nanometer is the wavelength of red light. On the other hand, the special pair chlorophyll A molecule in PS2 is referred to as P680. Again, P stands for pigment and 680 means 680 nanometer. This is the wavelength of light that this special pair chlorophyll A molecule absorbs most strongly. 680 nanometer is also the wavelength of red light. The special pair chlorophyll A molecule in the reaction center of PS1 and PS2 differ in their light absorption maxima because of the differences in their protein environment. As we mentioned earlier, in addition to P700, the reaction center of PS1 consists of a primary electron acceptor, that is A0, which is a modified chlorophyll molecule, while the primary electron acceptor in the reaction center of PS2 is a pheophytin molecule, which is a chlorophyll A molecule without the central magnesium ion. PS2 also consists of an oxygen evolving complex, which helps the water to split into H plus ions or protons, oxygen and electrons. It is physically located on the inner side of the thylakoid membrane. In general, photosystem 1 and photosystem 2 work together simultaneously and continuously during photosynthesis. An important point to be noted is that photosystem 1 can operate independently of photosystem 2. It is then called cyclic electron flow. We will discuss about this in an upcoming lecture. Now, let's discuss about the light harvesting complex. The light harvesting complex, also called as antenna complex, consists of pigment molecules and pigment binding proteins. The pigments in the light harvesting complex consist mainly of chlorophyll B and carotenoids. They are called antenna pigments or accessory pigments. 
The light harvesting complexes capture light energy and increase the efficiency of photosynthesis. Some chlorophyll A molecules will also be present in the light harvesting complex. The antenna pigments are named so because they form an antenna-like network for the gathering of light. Almost all the light energy absorbed by accessory pigments is transferred to the special pair of chlorophyll A molecule in the reaction center by resonance. This transfer is also known as Foster transfer. If you like to know what happens after this step, then watch the video on the light reaction of photosynthesis. It is a detailed video on the non-cyclic photophosphorylation and I have beautifully presented it with animations. It will clear all your doubts and misconceptions about non-cyclic photophosphorylation. To watch the video, check out the link in the description box below. So that's all about photosystems. But before concluding this lecture, let me tell you an interesting fact. Did you know that the direction of electron transfer in photosynthesis is from PS2 to PS1? Now, you may be wondering why the first photosystem where photosynthesis is initiated is called PS2 and the later participant as PS1. There is a simple reason for that. In fact, PS1 was discovered first and so the name PS1. If you find this video helpful, hit the like button because it will be a great motivation for me and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more biology videos.